Hello YouTubers! Have you ever wanted to improve your 2K or any exercise in the entire world? Well, today we're going to go over that and how to do it, we'll just jump straight into it, is the taper. Because if you don't taper right, you're not going to be able to hit the scores that you want to. But before we get into why and how you taper, we've got a workout to do. So we're going to head straight to the gym. Nice steady one this morning because the taper has already begun for competing at the Paris Indoor World Championships to try and become the heavyweight champion of the world this weekend on the rowing machine for 2K. But let's get on to the egg. A little bit of steady work. And then start to discuss the taper and the winner of the giveaway Woo! and we've finished up some ut2 time for some food because remember food is fuel and we've made it inside. Isn't that right, yeah? Yes, yum. And we've changed it up a little bit today. So instead of chicken and rice, we have fish and rice. Absolutely fantastic. And again, focusing on getting enough fuel in for the workouts, even during taper week when the load is a bit lower. Obviously, you don't want to keep the load or the fueling as high as it would be on training week, but you don't want to have it a lot less. So in a surplus for sure, but not in a heavy surplus. So you're not sort of just gaining loads of unnecessary weight. You want to be gaining the right amount of weight or the right type of weight. So if you can, that would be fantastic gaining just muscle. But in taper week, the energy requirements will be less since you are doing less. So in theory, you'll need less food. And that is kind of part of taper week struggles when you have loads and loads of energy but you're trying to not do too much which we'll talk about after fueling up so let's fuel up and we've made it out post fueling up on the beginning of taper week and like I said earlier on, how do you taper or even why should you taper? So I'll start with why. And like I said, it can really help your 2K scores or any scores in general really because it means that the likelihood of you getting the best out of yourself is much higher because you are that little bit fresher. And when you are that little bit fresher, it means you can really empty the tank on the day rather than, so say you've in a very tough working week and you can only push to say maybe 90%, 80%. But then when you're fresh and you're tapered and you're ready to fire on all cylinders, you can find that 100% and just give it absolutely everything. It might feel absolutely heinous, but you could find that extra gear that you might not necessarily have had during the heavy work weeks. So it might mean that you have a little bit of extra sprint. It might mean that you might have a little bit extra in the middle, but you're thinking, okay, I'd normally back off at this stage, but actually I can hold this split just that little bit longer before I get into the sprint. Or maybe you have some bigger strokes at the start because you're that little bit fresher, that little bit more springy. So your average is a little bit lower than it might have been. So you don't have to work as hard for the middle because then the average comes up slower etc. So that is a really big impact of having the taper and how it can impact your 2k score. And after we go in and walk the puppies later on, we'll talk about how you can taper for your scores to improve. But now we'll continue walking the puppies. Isn't that right? Yes. So let's get to it. Okay, we've made it back into the house post walking the puppies. And before we talk about how to taper, we'll go and work out and do a little bit of intensity today, a little bit less since it is taper week. But before that, 
We've got the giveaway to discuss. So I have the giveaway winner here. It's very small font. Basically added everyone into the sheet of the data and a random selector. And let's, why is it not loading now? It's not loading, there we go. And the winner of the Yam Squad training bundle for this giveaway is Adam Legal. And in fact, he is from Paris, which is in France, and which is where I'm going this weekend for the Indoor World Rowing Championship. So perhaps we could meet up then. But congratulations for winning this giveaway. I'll send over an email so we can get everything sorted out and we can get you the Yam Squad training bundle. And thank you so much to everyone who has entered. Do not fear if you did not win this giveaway because we'll be sending out an email to everyone who had entered for different discounts on the products that were actually in the giveaway. So everyone is a little bit of a winner. But now it is time to head outside, head back to the gym and do a little bit of intensity and then post a little bit of intensity. We'll talk a little bit about how you can do the taper to get your scores honed in and to get the most out of yourself. Oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, so we've gained a little bit of size, a little bit of weight for pulling hard on the handle. Now it's time to get on the air. And we've made it on the air and I just realised that was holding the camera. So I'm not actually 105, 106, unfortunately. So I'm probably 102, 103. But now we're on the air, we're getting the workout done for the intensity for today. And yesterday's intensity was very, 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 very high. How much higher than initially planned on the program. So we're reducing today's volume of intensity a little bit. So today we're supposed to be 3000 times two minutes on 3.30 off, but we're only gonna do six. So it's a nice easy way to program it. There's no need for variable intervals in this one. No need for any space calculus. Just enter more options into, nope, that's the wrong erg, into select workout, into new workout, into intervals time, and for this one, two minutes on, 3.30 off. And today, this is a little bit about confidence building for the 2K this weekend in Paris. So I'm going for a sort of 2K pace split for all of them to say, okay, if I can do that, so it'll be in total 12 minutes at 2K pace, it should give me a little bit of confidence to say, well, you could do that for hopefully less than six minutes. So, let's get two, two minutes on, 3.30 off on the rowing machine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And we have finished the workout. One benefit, like I've spoke about before about individual training, is the ability to be very agile when changes need to be made. And today I think a change always needs to be made, like I said, before the workout, about yesterday, taking quite a lot of energy. Today was reduced already and just doing one less set. So five instead of six meant that I could have managed one or probably the, the original workout, the eight, but doing those last few would probably dig me way too deep into the hole, especially when we're trying to taper and trying to go really bounce back up towards Saturday for a lovely energy filled piece. But here is the score for today. So wanted to get in the 28s for the whole thing. And that's what it did, and then dropped a little bit down at the end there. It's interesting. Try almost try to use different techniques. 
So when you're getting tired, there's like you can shorten up a little bit, you can push down the legs a little bit, less layback, more layback, more swing, less swing, more glutes, less glutes, whatever you kind of however you think about it, can make changes and sort of sometimes you can go, okay, maybe I'll do 30 seconds of this type, 30 seconds of that type, and it sometimes can make a difference, but sometimes it can't. And now time to catch some breath, cool down, recover, get some food. Because remember, food is fuel. Oh, yeah. And then finally talk about how you might taper for your big piece. Oh, yeah. And we've made it back to the house to fuel up on some delicious food. And we're finally going to be talking about how you can taper to make sure to get the best out of yourself, whether it's a 2K, a 5K, a 6K, a 10K, a marathon row, anything in between or in a completely different sport in general. Well, how does one taper? Like we said earlier about why you might want to taper, about just gaining a little bit more energy, making sure you can get the most out of yourself. How you need to taper? Well, the general idea is about reducing mileage and reducing intensity. So for example, this week, I'm going to be doing, instead of the usual one intensity session every day, or almost every day, I'm going to be doing, so so far this week, there's been today, and if we count yesterday, and then Wednesday. So three out of the normal six, so it's 50%. And even then, yes, there might be higher intensity sessions, but the volume is significantly lower. So instead of like today, it was planned to be eight two minutes on, 3.30 off, but I've done 15 two minutes on, 3.30 off in a previous workout. So it was already almost half, and then obviously we re reduced that again while we were in the workout so that it wasn't digging myself too deep into a hole that I can't bounce back from. And that's one of the ideas with tapering. If you can figure out how to train at a level where you're just able to recover and then you enter the tapering phase, then the body is a, a overcompensation effect that the body can actually have where you end up sort of bouncing back harder than you may have anticipated by recovering because your body is assuming that you're gonna go back into that hard training state, but actually you're going in for say a test piece. For example, this week the 2K for me. So the hopes that the taper for me will bounce back and then be ready for say it's a, another workout like yesterday where I was, that's the hardest one this year, but in reality, instead of doing that 10K total workout, it's going to be a 2K. So yes, it might be a much shorter distance, but obviously it's gonna be emptying the tank. So how do you implement the taper? It is very, very simple, reducing the mileage and reducing the intensity. I can't say specifically how you will adjust and make your taper because it can vary from program to program, but taking those two key points into consideration about reducing intensity and reducing the mileage, or reducing the volume, will make your program taper. It will taper down and make it that little bit easier so that you can bounce back. And depending, like I said, the training before, it could be a big, big bounce back or it could just be a case of, okay, I'm now I'm feeling super fresh and ready to go for the big test. So hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna finish up my delicious chicken and rice. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, Yam Squad. And as always, remember to subscribe if you haven't already, hit that like button, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode as we continue the taper and continue on towards the Paris World Indoor Rowing Championships. Oh, yeah.